Good morning, traders. Welcome to Privateer FX Asian Preview and the uh, weekly outlook. Uh, we just had some Australian retail sales data come out and it beat by 0.1 and Australian dollar has rallied a little bit. So I've got the chart up here on the daily. We do have some resistance. There's an old low, an old close, an old high right here around the 76 area. Um, you know, uh, we're, we're still like selling rallies. I, I'm wondering if we might have a little squeeze up during London up to 76.40. 40 to 50 looks to me like a, a place to sell at these old lows. This whole kind of, um, I think my pointer out, this whole kind of area in here. So I'll be, uh, I'm going to leave some offers up there. Uh, as far as uh, economic data, Let's take a quick look here. There's not much out of. We have construction PMI out of uh, the UK. Um, there's no economic data. Well, we have factor orders, which is a non-event out of the US. Very quiet day tomorrow. Um, some China data in uh, your time. And then the RBA is also tomorrow night, uh, my evening, your morning. So not expecting anything out of uh, of the RBA. Um, let's take a look at the euro. Why don't we pop over to some of the weeklies here? Oh, geez. Sorry. Hold on. Oh, God. Let's see what we got here. Um, it's Aussie. That's euro. Why don't we take a quick look at some of the weeklies and see what happened? Last week, here's zero. You know, got all the way down to 115 on the on the uh, Italy thing, Italy issues, and uh, we're back up here. We're long. We're, we, we've got some. We've got about uh, two weeks left on some euro calls we bought. Um, I do like to see this. I think it's going to retrace higher. Um, there's the Aussie right on this big level here. Uh, cable, you know, looking pretty good after kind of a uh, hammer type week. Is your dollar Swiss? Kiwi looks okay. Had a decent week. I'm, I'm pretty much an out, I'll call it an outside reversal bear, bullish engulfing week. And Kiwi's responding in kind today. So, again, some risk on here early. Um, um, we have the RBA coming up tomorrow. We got U.S. trade balance, China trade balance this week. We have the G7 uh, heads of state. We'll be talking about trade and the tariffs. Um, the Swiss re referendum on the s supply of the Swiss, that's later in the week. And then a U.S., North Korean, South Korean summit is on June 12th. Um, I think the currency of the week is probably the Aussie dollar. Um, a lot of people are focused on it. With the retail sales number beating, we got the RBA, we got Q1 GDP, current account, trade balance, the currency is... A lot of embedded risk, and tactically, it suggests a move, uh, moving to, you know, a, a bit more positive stance. As far as um, one of the one of the banks that we speak to, one of their favorite trades of the week, um, strongest directional view in an uncertain week, as they call it, is to be short euro stocky. So why don't we take a quick look here, at daily euro stocky, because. Um, I was short. We were short a bit. It worked out okay. And then it's just kind of died to death. Um, let's take a look here. The MACDs are, are looking like they want to cross back over. You know, we did have a, a little bit of a pop here, you know, from these lows. It got down to 1016, which is now interesting and enough is the 100-day moving average. Um, yeah, I, I don't mind this. Um, 
I don't mind this short hero stocky idea for the week. Um, I think a lot of people are buying some downside protection. I mean, euro stocks had a massive run up, right? Here's the daily charts. It's gone completely parabolic. And now it's kind of almost head and shoulders y type formations. If you, you know, you look here at this little area here, you look at this little high here. And then it was, unfortunately, it didn't get back up to like that 50 area, that 1050 area. Um, but, you know, if you're lurking at, uh, I guess you could draw a trend line here. We broke that pretty cleanly. Um, you know, now we've got this low here. This looks like a pretty important level with the 100-day and the confluence with that old low. Um, I kind of kind of like this. The Rick Spanks still three and three or four weeks away so the, um, as far as economic data looking for catalyst I'm not sure it's going to be there um, something to keep on the radar we're starting to see some other um, if we pull up the dollar stocky chart which is a uh, you know is a good direct is, is a good currency to to want to follow if you're following the dollar and it takes the euro out of it but um, generally you know you had this this bar here, this uh, bearish engulfing bar right here, this big red bar. And then it's just kind of doji for a couple days. To me, this looks like it's ready to go down. Um, so that'd be good for the euro stocky lower idea as well. You know, a little bit of a trend line here. Let me go to something a little bit shorter term. The 240s. It's a decent line. These old lows here, 8.75. We like it. We, you know, a couple of us have some short dollar stock on. I'm long euro, similar trade, but uh, I do think that that, that, could, that could be a good idea, a good short for the week. Anyhow, I'll leave it at that. You'll hear from us on the uh, London Open, and uh, let's see how things play out the next couple of days. Good luck trading. We'll speak to you on the open, European Open. Cheers.